Hello, and welcome to our lesson on planes of symmetry in 3D shapes. A plane of symmetry is a face which bisects a shape into halves, where each half is a mirror image of each other. So we're going to begin with the triangular prism. And the first line of symmetry for the triangle is a vertical line here. We can turn this into a plane of symmetry by including the depth. As we turn in a clockwise direction, the next line of symmetry would be here. Again, we can make it into a plane by showing the depth. And the next, as we again go in a clockwise direction, would be here. Final plane of symmetry would be the line of symmetry on this rectangle. Again, we continue it through the depth. So you can see a triangular prism has four planes of symmetry. Okay, let's look at a hexagonal prism. So keeping to the same idea, we'll draw the lines of symmetry for the hexagonal face. We have a vertical line here. Again, we can make that into a plane of symmetry. The next would be here, as we continue to rotate clockwise. So now the next line of symmetry would go here. So I'm drawing our planes of symmetry by considering the line of symmetry for the hexagonal face. And it's important to show the depth every time. And as we work around the shape, we will have included all the planes of symmetry using the hexagonal face. And the final plane of symmetry would be halfway along this rectangular face. So you can see a hexagonal prism has seven planes of symmetry. Okay, if you've got isometric paper, do you want to try and identify the planes of symmetry in these 3D shapes? If you haven't got isometric paper, you can just sketch the 3D shape. Okay, so for our first planar symmetry, on the front face in this direction, you can see there are no lines of symmetry for that 2D shape. But if you look from the side and the top of the plan, you can see there is one plane of symmetry, which you can see is here. On the next shape, you can see the front face in this direction has one line of symmetry here. And this can be used to draw the plane of symmetry here. And the final plane of symmetry can be identified using the side and the plan view. And these will come together to make the, the second plane of symmetry. Let's use that drawing. You can see the better plane of symmetries here. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.